welcome to the clock dedication for the city of Charlestown and the beautification. We have a brief program of acknowledgement for you tonight. Um, I'm glad to see you here, each and every one of you. And this is an exciting time for Charlestown, an exciting time for our city square and revitalization of some efforts and renewal of some efforts that previously had already set a nice strong foundation for what you see when you come to the city of Charlestown on our square. And this clock is symbolic of that in many ways, our past, our present, our future. And I'm so glad that all of you are here to celebrate this with us. I'm grateful for those that are in the audience that have all been part of the beautification efforts over the years since its inception. I'm grateful for those that continue those efforts ongoing. I'm extremely grateful for our clerk treasurer, Donna Coomer, who has played such a vital role in all of these efforts and in getting this clock um, installed, ordered and all of you know all the whole reason that we're here today and her efforts in making that happen so i want to just briefly acknowledge those in the audience who are current elected officials i see councilwoman ruthie jackson with us and those who have previously served so if you're paying and able if you previously served as a member of either the charlestown woods council or mayors or, or clerk treasurers if you will stand and be acknowledged at this time i know ted is here he's already kind of leaning <laughs> so thank you tony 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 jackson there you are yeah on high so thank you all for being here and of course i would like to say a special thanks to all of the folks from dae who are here joining us today as well at this time i want to invite forward someone we all know and love someone whose efforts in the city of Charlestown are unprecedented. She shows a sense of dedication that rivals any I've ever seen in public service. And she's truly a hometown hero in many ways. And this whole ceremony is largely here because of her. And I'm grateful to share an office space with her and to work with her daily. It's been truly a blessing. So at this time, I'll call forward our clerk treasurer, Donna Coomer. Woo! myself we're really excited to be here today presenting to you a major CBC accomplishment but before our presentation I want to tell you what the CBC's mission is and what it means to myself and its members our mission has been and is now to improve the community's pride and spirit through voluntary participation in activities that enhance, enhances the city's appearance of our public areas, our parks. Um, we have planted flowers and flowers and flowers and, and trees and cleaning sidewalks and cleaning roads and having many cleanup days. Um, remember the first big communicate, um, beautification project that we had was on Highway 3. And uh, I think we, we cleaned the sidewalks. We gained about four feet of um, sidewalks by cleaning them. Remember that, John? Yeah. And we had probably about 100 volunteers that came out. And that's when the CBC really got uh, moving, I believe. But not only are, do we beautify the city, we also provided family activities such as Light Up Charlestown. Everybody knows Light Up Charlestown. When I go to conferences, there's so many people that come up to me. You're from Charlestown? Oh, we have gone to see the lights in Charlestown. So, and we have been voted numerous times to be in the best Christmas display in the state of Indiana. So, and also Charlestown Founders Day Festival, which we're celebrating this week. Celebrating our history and our heritage and the balloon glow. Well, the, well, the list will go on and on. It's a major accomplishment. For more than two decades, dozens of volunteers have dedicated thousands of hours to make these dreams a reality. The 
CBC would not be what it is today without these special volunteers that are here today. The beautification, it's been a major asset to our community, saving thousands of dollars through volunteering. A lot of communities um, don't have beautification committees. I remember um, years ago when the um, Indiana cities and towns heard about Charlestown beautification and they asked me to come and speak about the beautification on how it has saved cities thousands of dollars by volunteering. I honestly have to say it has been my passion and I have loved every minute of it. But most of all, it's the great friends that I have met along the way. And one of the two special friends is Pat and Ted Little. Pat and Ted, I don't know how I would have done it without you. Your dedication, your support. Anytime I needed something, I knew I could pick up the phone and call Ted. Hey Ted, can you put this up? Can you put this sign out? Can you drive that? Thank you, Pat and Ted. Would you please stand? has made a difference in our community. CBC, I just want to say that you are priceless. Thank you for being by my side and you will always be dear to my heart. And at this time I would like for the CBC members that serve with me to please stand. would serve as a memorial to all the volunteers that made the CBC a success and an inspiration for all the volunteers that would come after. This clock, I want to tell you a little bit about where it came from. It was created by the Bergen Company from Cincinnati, Ohio. For six generations, the Bergen Company has been producing the highest quality clocks, bells, and towers in the world and has currently more than 55,000 installed throughout the country. And I do know that our neighboring communities have um, clocks from the Verdant Company and I like to say throughout the country. So in 2019, we decided to purchase a clock for our downtown area. Well, we got started in 2019, but unfortunately it took two years to get the clock here and installed due to does anybody know why? COVID. COVID. <laughs> COVID manufacturing shut down. After several years of waiting, we are very pleased with the outcome of the custom made clock and very proud to showcase it today for our citizens, for the community of Charlestown, and to enjoy it for many years to come. The individuals and businesses that have sponsored the CBC have been vital to its endurance. Without their generous funding, none of these events that I have talked about could be possible. While there have been many sponsors, there's one in particular that is called DA Incorporated that has been supporting the CBC from the very beginning. They have made annual donations for the Founders Day festivals and all events and everything that uh, beautifying the city including a double-sized donation in 2008 for the city's bicentennial celebration. And again in 2019, when the city and the CBC were working towards an art installation, they came through in a big way. And at this time, I want to introduce to you Jeff Smith, President and COO with DA Incorporated. Jeff is here with several DA employees. Thank you, DA, for your community support and for being a key sponsor. Jeff, do you want to come up? Sure. Uh, he's going to get Okay. <laughs> well, uh, from what I can see, that looks to be like a very beautiful clock. So, uh, 
great job to the Charlestown Beautification Committee. Uh, as Donna mentioned, I'm Jeff Smith, president of DA. With me is uh, some of our great managers and team members. You guys can stand up and be recognized. Uh, I think you can see us wearing the black shirt. <laughs> so thank you guys for taking time out of your Friday evening to join this event. Uh, thank you to Donna and Mayor Hodges for uh, inviting us. Um, this is an honor. Um, it's an honor to be here to celebrate this, and it's an honor. I see your name on the uh, the clock, so uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank uh, you. DA started 34 years ago. We started here in Charlestown. Uh, we're still here. We have our headquarters and manufacturing plant. Uh, I've been with the company 24 years, and I can say uh, Charlestown has always supported us, and it's just a great town. A lot of our uh, Team members are from uh, Charlestown, surrounding areas, great workforce, so we're happy to be here. Uh, when we heard about the uh, beautification project in Charlestown, we wanted to donate to show our gratitude for the many years that uh, Charlestown has supported us, so uh, thank you. Um, I think uh, it's something that uh, residents, visitors for many years can walk by and see and admire. It's a great work. Um, I'd like to say I'm very certain that in 34 years, another 34 years, DA team, team members will walk by, see the DA name on the clock, and I think that's great. So uh, thanks again for inviting us. That's all I had to say. I guess we can unveil it now. Uh, uh, we're going to hold on just a moment. Okay. <laughs> all right. And then we'll come back up okay. and Thanks. So there's a little bit of an edit in the program, and at this time, um, I will call for Heather Shrimp um, for a special, somewhat surprise presentation. As you can see, Donna has absolutely no idea that I'm speaking today. <laughs> and she said in her speech how much the CBC and its members mean to her. But she left a few things out. She has left out that she is the heart and soul of the Beautification Committee. She's the visionary. I can't think of a single CBC event that she hasn't been a part of. From her and Pat getting and planting flowers to organizing games for kids at Founders Day, scheduling all of the entertainment, and driving a golf cart She's done it all. So Donna, the clock may be a memorial for the CBC, but when I look at Cogsworth, I'm going to think of you. So thank you.
Sneaking back there that we haven't seen. <laughs> All right, at this time, um, we did have Ted Little um, on the program and he was trying to avoid speaking. She's strong arm me. <laughs> and um, between Donna and I, I think we kind of wrangled him up here. And so Ted had a special message that um, he wanted to share, and I think that it's a message that's worthwhile here. So, Ted. Thank you. Thank you all for being here, recognizing the Charlestown Beautification in all its effort, which is cities, people, getting them involved. There's so many different ways you get people involved, because you're looking for <laughs> all the different talent, and it shows up in the needs that you have. You shift the duties to them. One of them was financial, thank you. Early on, we used to go to businesses individually and ask for donations different size amounts. That wasn't a challenge for me because I'd always been in sales and services. For some, they did it. Didn't matter. Just their friendliness made it happen. I remember people that aren't here, and that's what I said I was talking about. They were big, much involved in this organization to make it successful. You make meet and make so many friends. You get intermingled with city services, city offices, management. And that's what makes it all come about. You know, there has to be a leader. There was others in the past that stepped up to lead and probably are now. So, one thing it did for Charlestown was bring people together. If we were to list all our actions we took, such as trick or treat on the square, and uh, of course Founders Day went on forever, and there were other things that we did, yeah. movies and farm, and all these kind of things got going. Well, CBC. But people come out from all parts of the city. And all different men and women, young people who become adults. And the one that was here just a minute ago is our queen, and it's it's just it brings you joy. It's happiness. And I've got and met a lot of people here I would have never met. And unfortunately, a lot of people that aren't here anymore that have passed on. Uh, we've got a, a vibrant city. There's a lot of positive things that have happened and happened. volunteers to come out of it. New people to go to our schools. 
there are people in this town, I can't let that go, that got involved financially, heavily. A group of about a dozen started it that made it possible to have all these funds handed out to college, high school students for college. It's been going on now. I can't remember how long. They needed to be here to get up.